So this is the text that I've been using over the past three years. But for the next 10 months, I'm ditching in for a brand new one. Because with everything happening in the world right now with AI, I need to become unstoppable for jobs, freelancing, and my own SaaS. I watched countless videos about the AI revolution and analyzed many job posts on these platforms to realize something crucial. AI will replace developers who don't evolve. That's why the roadmap I'm about to show you is my personal key to thrive in this new era. So my goal for the next 10 months is simple, to become successful across three dimensions, full-time job, freelancing, and SaaS creation. This strategy might seem simple, but it's also extremely powerful for two main reasons. The most obvious, but also the least important reason, in my opinion, is that if one of these three fall apart, I can still rely on the other two. That gives me a sense of security for the future, and in time like this, this alone is priceless. But the second reason is by far where the real power lies. You see, each of these parts create a sort of system that makes me truly powerful. A full-time job creates consistency, but also teamwork, which makes me reliable as a freelancer, but also consistent enough to actually create a SaaS. Freelancing brings adaptability but also sharpens client communication, which accelerates career growth, but also can help me validate my SaaS ideas with real clients. And building a SaaS develops vision, ownership, and problem-solving skills, which transform me in a strategic leader and thinker across all these three areas. That's three types of education simultaneously, with each of them making me better at the two others. So ultimately, I will not just be able to learn from different sources, but I will learn so much that I will become much more resilient like a car crow. Alright, so what is the actual text style? First part to front end doesn't that much, at least compared to the back end. And this is for a very good reason. Because before I was using TypeScript, React, and tearing CSS, but now I'm adding one more player with Next.js. Next.js is a React framework that comes with a lot of features that every serious company needs. Better SEO, improved security, and overall blazing performance. Even big companies like Nike, Entropic for clothes, and even Netflix they use it to build their own front end. Most interesting, when I looked at job boards like LinkedIn and Glassdoor, I've seen the same pattern over and over. Next.js, this is alongside React, TypeScript, and Tailwind CSS, the exact same tech stack I'm using right now. And the same trend repeat on freelancing platforms. Now it's got even better because for SaaS development, Next.js comes with a huge advantage. It's perfect for scalability, but also for fast deployments. So basically, this stack does a great job on the front end. And that's all for this section. We have a stable, in demand, and effective front end stack. So let's move on to the back end. Now, for this part, I had four sweet conditions high demand for web dev jobs and freelance works, rapid iteration and prototyping, a fast learning curve, and one of the most important things right now seamless AI integration. This last one is absolutely crucial because if you look at today's job post, you will notice AI integration everywhere. But here is the thing, AI integration is not actually one skill. It's mainly five LLM API integrations like OpenAI or Cloud, Embeddings, Prop Engineering, Langchain, and by far the most in demand thing right now is RAG or Retrieval of Monster Generation. And now I was a little surprised when I found out that none of the major language for the backend, which are Python, Node.js, Rust, C Sharp, Go, and Java. None of them alone check all the boxes. Some are great for AI, but too slow to build with. Others are fast to prototype, but lack of AI integration. So instead of picking one, I made a combination of two of them, and the winners are Node.js because it's one of the most in-demand backend technologies in the world and I was already using it for a while, so no waste of time. And the second language is Python. There is nothing come close to it when it comes to the AI ecosystem and the speed of experimentation. Okay, the third part is about the database. And here I'm making one final upgrade. I'm switching from MongoDB to Postgres, enhanced by PG Vector. A game changer to build AI powered website. Vectors allow the database to store and search embeddings, which is exactly what's used in modern AI systems like with modernization systems or contextual search. The last major piece I had to consider is a cloud, because nearly every series app nowadays run on it. 
and that's why I'll be learning Docker. To containerize my apps and make it easy to deploy anywhere, I'm still hesitating between AWS and Render or the cloud provider. Maybe I will use them both because AWS because it comes with enterprise device tools and Render because it's simple. Just like that, that's the final next step I'll be using for the next 10 months. Next.js, React, Tailwind, TypeScript, Node.js, Python, Postgres, Enhanced with PG Vector, and Docker. But there's one problem, right? How can I be sure that this stack is really as good as I think? I made a research, yes, but I needed a final confirmation before using it and seeing how good it is. So I decided to challenge the five most advanced AI in the world to see what they think. I gave them the entire stack and asked them to analyze it. But here's the trick. I didn't tell them that this is my stack. I used a new account so that they know nothing about me. And I told them that this stack is the worst stack ever and asked them to explain why. That way, I could test their answer without bias. But to my surprise, all five agree that this combination is not only valid but also strategic. You can also test the prompt I use. There is a link in the description. You just have to click and we have the prompt. But you know what? I'm not fully convinced because AI can be very wrong. But what about you? What do you think about that? I'd be really happy to hear what other dev, maybe more experienced than me, think about all of this and maybe what those AI and I are missing. So please let me know in the comment section below. And thanks for watching the very first video of this channel.